Rob Spence here, the Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions. I'm a sales trainer, sales coach, sales author, and overall sales nerd. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you are looking to close more sales. You are looking to make more commission, make more money, and get more sales done and dusted so you can help your prospects with whatever it is you have sold them. Which is awesome, that's what we were in sales for, right? Now, it's funny, I do a lot of research and a lot of, res uh, you know, planning and studying and mentoring uh, and observations into sales. Now, whenever I talk about closing to the people I train or coach, they think I'm all of a sudden going to turn into the Wolf of Wall Street. There's going to be mind games, manipulation. There's going to be this closing technique or this magic word to say. And unfortunately, to disappoint you, or those, those things do work, there's better ways to close a sale. I think the consumer, the, the people that buy your things, your prospect are a lot wiser to these good old tactics that we salespeople could use in the 1980s or the 1970s kind of thing. However, there's two things that I recommend you do to help you close more sales. They're very simple, just like me. And if you start using these whenever you're prospecting, whenever you're trying to sell something, you will close more sales. So number one, always look to take the next steps. Always look to set up the next meeting or always look and agree with your prospect what is going to happen next within the sales process. I come into contact with so many salespeople, business owners and such who will just have a, a general conversation and everything gets left up in the air and then no one really knows who's going to contact who. Should the prospect contact the salesperson and the business person or should the salesperson contact the, the, the customer, the prospect? And it's all left a bit loose and then it's, you know, have you ever just sent a quote or a proposal to someone in the hope that your, your prospect will buy from you? Or have you ever met with someone at a networking event and you say, oh, we should probably do that coffee sometime, and then you never do? That's what I'm talking about. You as a salesperson, you as a business owner, must always look to make the next steps. Put into plan, place a plan with your prospects as to what they can expect from you. So whether that be you meet that person at a networking event and you say to them, right, let's get a date in the diary now as to when we can have a coffee. You sit down, have that coffee, you learn more, and you get the chance to pitch your product. At that point in time, put into place the plan that you need to take that sales process along. Whether it be, listen, Mr. Prospect or Mrs. Prospect, I'm gonna send you over a proposal within the next two weeks. Or why don't I come to the office and I'll measure up the space that you're looking to have um, painted and I'll come and provide a quote for you. Whatever the next steps are, plan it out with your prospect. Tip number two, very simple trick, and I always tell people to do this, is never forget to ask for the sale. That's all that closing is. And it's, if anything, it's just an addition to what we've said just now about taking the next steps. And it's also an addition to never leaving anything on the table. Once again, there's so many times where we might be tempted just to send a quote, a proposal, and hope that someone will buy from it or we'll have that conversation with a prospect and they, the prospect's like, yeah, it would be good. And you'll sit there going, yeah, it would be good. Ask for the sale. It can be as simple as that. All it could be is, look, Mr. Mrs. Prospect, why don't we get the contract signed today and we can have the product in your home within the next seven days. Whatever it is within your business or your service, ask for the sale. What's the worst that can happen? Your prospect says no, and then we look to overcome some ob objections, and then we try and close the sale again. Or they say yes, boom, great, we've got the sale, we've got the commission, and the prospect is happy with the solution that you have just sold to them. Closing does not need to be complicated. Closing does not need to be so psychologically muddled with horrible manipulation tactics. Take the next steps and ask for the sale. What do you think? Am I wrong or am I right? Drop me an email below, it's just coming up on the screen there, Rob at Paragon Sales Solutions. Do you agree that closing doesn't have to be complicated? Or am I wrong? Should we be manipulating using closed and, and, and open questioning techniques and, and, and um, all the other silly closing techniques to kind of push through a sale? Let me know. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do like and subscribe to the channel, it really does help us out. If you're watching on Facebook, please do share amongst your friends and then head on over to YouTube and subscribe over there. Thank you so much for watching this week's Sales Snippet. Until next week, all the best.